Hi friends, I am starting my second experiment using this Botanium hydroponic sponge. I have recently grown a thought soy in this Botanium and it worked out very well. Now it is up for next experiment and in this experiment I am growing a mint. I have a feeling that this kind of hydroponic pot is very good for a mint. Let's see how this is going to work out. This is the mint I just bought from Asian store as a bunch and then I took all the leaves out from the stems and I placed the stems into a small glass of water like this and they rooted very well. So this is one of the cuttings I rooted in the process. It got nice root system and I see lots of new development happening on these branches. Now I am going to place this cutting into this pot and see how this is going to work out. I already filled this pot with a little bit of clay. This is big size clay about uh, 5 or 10 centimeters. So I filled it half of the bowl with that clay. Now I am going to place the cutting and fill the pot with uh, more clay. Okay, I need uh, more clay, I'll get it. Now in the top, I am filling some small clay. There is no special reasoning behind this. I'm just using uh, whatever I have and uh, I also like the small clay pebbles. So I'm just filling it with a uh, small clay. I think that's it. This is good enough. Now let's see how this mint is going to grow in this pot. Since the mint comes from the roots, I think uh, this kind of setup is going to work very well for uh, mint. It is a weed and uh, the new development comes from branches, but the more new development comes from the roots. So I hope this kind of setup is going to work very well. Let's see. This garden is all set and uh, good to go. One thing about nutrition is I am going to feed aerogarden nutrients to this mint and I am going to use just 2 ml for every 1 liter of water. It's been 45 days. The first mint cutting I placed in this botanium didn't survive. So I gave up on that cutting and started with another cutting. I followed the same process. I just uh, rooted the cutting from the store-bought mint and uh, once I got a little bit of roots, I placed into this botanium. It survived very well. It established very well. Look at this mint. Huge leaves. Look at this. Really huge. I don't have any dedicated lights for this plant. I am just placing it right next to Aerogoden. I am just keeping it like this. It is just leveraging this pillower light and growing very nice. I thought the mint needs a lot of light but apparently it is not. Even this spillover light is well enough. So it's all going very well and this botanium pot looks very well suitable for mint. I don't see any mint coming from the bottom. Usually mint spread out via roots but I don't see that is happening yet but it is just 45 days. But I'm pretty positive over the period I will see lots of mint coming from the roots. But so far all these stems are spreading out very well. Look at all these side branches so it is growing really nice. I'm going to start harvesting this mint. <coughs> when I harvest the mint I'm going to take the longest stem and cut it maybe halfway through or maybe about 3-4 nodes. So it will continue to spread out. I think it's been about uh, three months. The mint is coming excellent in this botanium hydroponic spot. I have been harvesting this mint a lot and it is coming back at double the speed. Let's take a close look at the bottom. I don't see any new growth coming from the bottom. I don't see any new growth coming from the roots, but the same main stem is spreading out with a lot more branches. Anyway, Overall, the mint is getting bushy and producing lots of mint.
recently this bowl ran out of water i didn't notice it so this mint was running out of water for a day or two i see some of the leaves getting spoiled hopefully it will recover anyway i don't think anything new from this point i think it is going to go for a really long time mint is really a hard to kill plant so i have a lot of hopes that it is going to stay for a really long time in this pot let's see how long it will survive but i don't think anything new from this point so i'm going to stop the video here this botanium hydroponics pot is working very well for mint i think it is worth having this pot if it is coming for any cheaper price maybe 40 dollars or less if you are really fan of mint you can definitely start growing mint in this pot it is still just leveraging the spillover light from the aero garden and that is good enough to grow this huge mint bush all right that is all for now thanks for watching and happy gardening